Hello, this is a video on how to play the card game Lady Jane. Uh, Lady Jane is a solitaire card game in which you want to build 8 foundations up from uh, Ace to King using 2 standard 52 card decks. Uh, the game is a mix of uh, some other popular solitaires and uh, if you can figure it out I'll leave you to sort of guess what they are. Uh, but you'll sort of see the elements of those games here blended together. And so in terms of setting the game up, at the beginning, uh, you deal 55 cards face up um, into 10 piles. Uh, the first pile, from the left to the right, gets one card. The second pile gets two cards. The third pile, three, and so on. This continues until you get to the 10th pile, which gets 10 cards. This set of piles collectively will be referred to as the tableau. After dealing cards to the tableau, the remaining cards are set aside forming a stock pile. You'll also want to leave room for an empty waste pile, as well as your 8 empty foundation piles. In terms of playing the game, on the tableau, cards are played in descending order. And that's all, all you, that's the only parameter. And so uh, this queen is lower than this king, we can play it. This jack is lower than the queen, we can play it like so. Um, the six is lower than the seven, we can play it, right? Three is lower than the four, we can play it. Two is lower, that's all you need. Okay, and, and that did mess make my piles a little messy here. So we'll just refresh there. Uh, but essentially, um, you can play cards descending order that's all you need the suit does not matter the color does not matter so if a card is one rank lower than another card it can be placed onto that card uh, if you have an empty pile um, in your tableau meaning um, a pile with no cards on it and so uh, just to demonstrate if we had um, this eight here and it wasn't there uh, that empty first pile could be filled with any card If you want, you can draw from the stockpile. You can do this any time. And what you'll want to do is deal three cards face up to the waste pile. However, you deal them in a way such that only the top card from the waste pile can be played. Okay, um, and so only the top card from the waste pile can actually be made use of. And so every three cards you draw, only the third card uh, will be able to, I guess, play, be played. Um, and if you play that card, then you'll be able to play the card underneath, and this can continue, right? But you must deal three cards each time face up on top of each other. And so, do note that you can go through the stockpile twice, right? And so one redeal is allowed. Once you go through the entire stockpile once, you'll flip the deck over, and go through the, you'll flip the waste pile over, sorry, and you'll go through the stockpile one more time. Note that, it's, I mean, that's pretty much essentially it. Uh, there is one more rule that we'll talk about shortly here. Um, wherever you want to move cards, you generally can, right? Uh, there's no real restriction uh, in terms of where you want to move the cards, right? Certain solitaire card games don't let you move it on certain piles here. I mean, you can't move on to the waste pile, but other, other than that, there is no restriction. Also note um, that a sequence of same suit cards in descending order can be moved as an entire pile, okay? And so uh, what are the real rules here, right? There are, th I say there are four real rules and we'll sum them up. Uh, but notice how if I play this queen of diamonds on this king of hearts, I can make this move, right? It is a legal valid move, um, but the two cards aren't of the same suit. So notice how I'm only able to move the queen, right? I'm only able to move the top card of the pile. If you have a pile that is in sequence in the same suit, it can be moved as a pile, right? And so this jack is one rank lower than this queen, and it's of the same suit. That's not a, that's not a requirement, right? Uh, but if it is of the same suit, we can move the entire pile, right? And so... If you have a sequence of cards in the same suit, you can move the entire pile. If not, you can only move the top card of a tableau pile. So what are the four rules? 
On the tableau, cards can be played in descending order in any suit, uh, like demonstrated right, like demonstrated uh, right there. An empty pile can be filled with any card or group of cards if you drag an entire sequence there, right? Uh, and so, if you wanted to pick up an entire sequence and move it to an empty pile, uh, by any by all means, you can do so. Um, also. Um, if you have a sequence of same suit cards, you can move them as a pile. And if you want to draw from the stockpile, you draw three cards face up, one on top of another, and only the face up card on the waste pile is available for play. So, Lady Jane has a bit more rules than other solitaires, but overall it's not too difficult. What we'll do is we'll sort of um, play the game now, right, for a quick demonstration. So obviously we want to get aces down, right? Some of our aces may be in the stockpile. Um, and so let us sort of see if that's the case. Um, I know that I have a king right there. And so I would be able to move this queen. And so uh, we are able to actually make a positive move here, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to move that ace onto the foundation piles, right? Uh, because we have it, so might as well move it. Uh, what we're going to do then is we're gonna, going to move this queen. Um, and let me just double check. Yeah, we're going to move this queen as well as this jack. And then we'll move this. Um, we'll move that five there, right? That wasn't part of my original plan, but I want to get my king. That king was blocking that pile. By moving that king to an empty pile, because that is the only place where you can move a king, right? You won't be able to place it anywhere else. Then we were able to free up that pile. Now I'm going to move this 5. Um, I'm going to move the 6 there. And then move the 5 on top. Like so. Okay, try to order in suit whenever you can because it gives you more freedom in terms of how many cards you can move. If you build it considering suit, you'll be able to move the entire pile versus only being able to move a singular card. Now, our objective is... Um, I did sort of mess up the objective there. Uh, and that, the objective being... Uh, we want to sort of free up that card. So, okay, yeah, we'll we'll have to go with this play anyway. And so this changed our original plan here, but that's okay. Um, we wanted to well, we freed up this queen, right? And so we're gonna do that, freeing up the ace of clubs. And so now we have another ace free. Uh, we'll free up the two of clubs there. And now I have a set of spades here that I could sort of build on. So that, that was beneficial for us as well. Uh, now can we see where is the two of hearts? Uh, the two of hearts actually isn't here. Okay. So that's unfortunate. Um, is there any other heart? Or, I mean, there's a club right there. And if we obtained it, it would be beneficial. So. I'll try to. Do my best to obtain it. Although I don't believe this is a smart move. Uh, but we'll do it anyway. So as you can see I'm sort of building. Uh, in the same suit whenever I can right. You want to try to do that whenever you can. Okay, to do so we're gonna have to free up that ten right there. And to do that we're gonna need a five. Then we need another five in terms of being able to move this. Okay, yeah. We'll go ahead like so, right? Getting another set of cards in sequence really. Then we'll move that jack. Move that 10, move that 9.
We'll go ahead and we'll move that three. We're gonna move this pile there. Moving that spade like so. I don't know if that was a smart move because we had an empty pile there, uh, but we lost it because we wanted to build a certain way. Okay, so we did all of that work just for a three of clubs, right? But as you can see, you can sort of make a large chain reaction sort of set of moves there. We're going to move that six of diamonds there to get that four of clubs. Okay. Um, now that five of clubs is right there. To do that, we'll have to free up. I don't really want to use that empty space. So if I continue building like so. Yeah, does it seems like we might have to use that empty space. Oh no. No, no, no. We can go ahead like so. No, that that won't do anything actually. Yeah, we're gonna have to use that empty space there. Uh, but that's okay. I don't. I didn't really want to use it though. Actually, we build like so. Hopefully, we'll be able to free up this pile. Okay, so we have another empty space, or another empty pile, rather. Finally, we freed up the five and the six, right? And so I'm keeping these empty piles, so if I get a king, I can instantly move it there. Uh, but I may be hurting myself uh, by making so many extra moves. We don't have a seven of clubs on the board, so can't do anything in that regard. Okay. Um, we don't have another ace on the board. Um, the only other card we could go for is the two of hearts and that is not on the board either. And so notice how I exhausted all my moves and now I'm going to begin drawing from the stockpile. So we got the ace of spades and we'll continue making moves like so, right? This is why I said it's beneficial to stack in sequence because it opens up so many more possibilities. Now we can go for the six of spades here because we do have it. So that's what I'll go for. Um, I'll go ahead and make a move like that. Although that's not my favorite move. It's not my most favorite move in the world. Uh, we didn't really have any other move that could be made. Now the objective is to get to that seven of spades. Is that our only seven of spades? Um, does not seem like it. Did I move the, where did I move the jack of spades? Okay, so just, I was just double checking a set of moves I made there. Um, if I could get that king up there, I would, right? That would be really beneficial. Uh, but now we're looking at moving or obtaining rather the seven of spades, right? And so what we'll do is we'll move this four of hearts sort of trying to get to that seven of spades because that's the only one on the board and so we'll have to sort of be able to make a set of moves that is beneficial here i think we might be in a little bit of a catch-22 and that we won't actually be able to get to that seven of spades um and the reason for that is yeah um Okay, so we are actually able to get to the seven of spades, um, uh, but by doing so, we have obstructed the number of moves we can make. 
Uh, now we're looking at the getting the eight of spades or obtaining the eight of spades rather and to do so um, let us sort of see what we can do we don't have the seven of clubs yet right we don't have the two of hearts so let us uh, try to obtain the eight of spades the eight of spades is sitting right there and we're going to use the same thought process we used before and that we're going to try to make moves uh, based on the cards that we have. We're in a bad spot right now because we don't have any empty piles. I, it's very, very important that you can create empty piles uh, because they greatly improve your odds of winning. So we're going to continue drawing um, until we can. Hopefully, being able to make a move. There's a three of diamonds. Queen of clubs. Okay. That's the ten of diamonds. We'll move it like so. Right. Now, what we'll do is we'll move that nine. Eight, nine. Okay, no, I was going for the eight of spades. Yeah, so we'll go for an eight. And so now we're sort of looking at a king, which will allow us to make this move. We're still in a little bit of a stalemate, right? Because essentially we're sort of stuck. But we could go longer, but I feel like that short sort of demonstrates the thought process you would need when playing Lady Jane. So that wraps up how to play Lady Jane once more. Let's go over how to set up and a bit of more of the specific rules. In terms of setting up, you deal you need two standard 52 card decks and you deal 55 cards face up into 10 piles. The first pile gets one card, the second two, and so on until you get to the last 10th pile which would have 10 cards. The set of piles is known collectively as the tableau. Um, after dealing cards to the tableau, the remaining cards are set aside, forming a stockpile. You'll also want to leave room for an empty waste pile, as well as leave room for eight empty foundation piles. In terms of playing the game, um, on the tableau, cards are played in descending order, and that's the only parameter. An empty pile can be filled with any card. You can draw from the stockpile any time. That deals three cards to the waste pile. Only the top card from the waste pile can be played. One redeal is allowed, so when all the cards are moved into the waste pile, you can flip over the waste pile to go through the stockpile again. A sequence of the same suit can be moved as an entire pile. Right, so this eight and nine is in the same suit, and thus. It is a sequence of the same suit. It can be moved as an entire pile. That wraps up how to play Lady Jane. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.